Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori, if you're new here, and today I am going to show you what I picked up for my prepper pantry and my long-term storage, which are two different things. There are some great deals out there right now, and I can't wait to share them all with you. We went to a few places, and I'm going to try and get these going before the sale starts, but if it's not in your area, I apologize. I'm in Northeast Colorado, and sales and coupons, discounts, things like that are always specific to the area, so please keep that in mind. If you're new here. Hi, hello. My name is Tori. I am a wife, mother to three, and I teach you how to be prepared on a budget. We make videos about four times a week, and I can't wait for you to become part of our YouTube family. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let's get right into it. So like I said, we have really been focusing on trying to get some items in our household that will last a long time. So oftentimes that looks like buying in bulk. And we get a lot of food from Azure Standard, but we also like to utilize our local Costco's, Kroger, Walmart, things like that. We are not perfect. We try and shop local whenever we can, but a lot of times for the budget, it is just not possible. I do, however, encourage everyone to shop local if you can, and if it makes sense financially, definitely see if you can get some grains or some meats, even dairy in bulk, and go from there. Stocking up this winter is going to be super important. We've seen inflation happen, food shortages happen, and just about any emergency under the sun these last couple of years. So it's very important to keep these items on your shelves in case of any unexpected emergencies. I mentioned in my last video, I did find a company that is non-toxic, all American made, and it delivers right to your house. I am holding a Zoom call on December 11th if you want to find out more about the company. They also like to give back to their community, so there's opportunity for you to make some extra income for your family. You need to be 18 years old and in the United States or Canada to join the team, and I will be there on the Zoom to help coach you through, but my managers, Nate and Jeff, will be there as well. Again, I'm going to leave that link in the description box as well as a pinned comment. But if you're watching from your television, just email me at mountainmamaliving at gmail.com and I will email you the Zoom link. I can't wait to see all of you there. I think this is going to be such a phenomenal experience. We are trying our best to switch away from harmful ingredients. We are trying to support Patriot family-owned companies in my household, and I know a lot of you are too, so I'm excited to switch away with you. Alrighty, my friends, we are going to jump right into this haul. Please let me know what you're stocking up on this week. I am always curious. Okay, before I get into my little haul, I wanted to show you my new station because I'm proud of it and it's organized and I feel like we all could use some organization motivation. But on top here, I have my dried pintos and my dried rice, obviously uh, dried rice <laughs> in a vacuum sealed jar. And then right here is my setup for vacuum sealing since I've been asked. And as you can see, I'm low on jars, so I need some more jars. It is the best time to do it now. Walmart has a ton of sales on jars if you support Walmart, but right now in like the off canning season, which I do have myself, but I can year around, but technically in the off canning season is when you want to pick up your glass jars because there's major deals. But anyways, um, I have some 32 ounces and then I use this vacuum sealer and then I use this Roots and Harvest vacuum sealer attachment. It just attaches to this cord here. I turn it on and it sucks the air out of the jar. And then on the bottom here, I have my extra oxygen absorbers from Wallaby. I have some extra jars in there for the apothecary. And of course I have extra Mylar. So I thought that was a nice little setup. And then I do have my table right here to do do that with. I was struggling trying to find something in this area that I could put our long-term storage together. So yes, here is what we got this week. I'm very excited. There's definitely more of an organization or a list that I have been working with and I will tell you all about it. It's really just focusing on four or five different items and then rotating some of our favorites. So starting with the organic made in Italy pasta from Costco. This is an incredible deal. You get six of these bags. It's important that it's not enriched and it's organic. It's uh, imported from Italy. If you look into Italy, I'm sure they're not perfect, but they have a lot of great laws when it comes to food. And as we know, they, they do eat a ton of pastas and most of it is not enriched pastas. I believe they have some of the best health in the world is what I was reading the other day. Correct me if I'm wrong. That was super wild to me. So I did some more research and I really do think it's around their food 
laws. So yes, organic pasta made in Italy. This is going right into some mylar and I will put some oxygen absorbers in there and go from there. You could also put them in the glass if you wanted to, uh, but I know that I wanna store these a little bit more long-term and the mylar is going to allow that because it's light tight. Next on the list, I focus on some sort of canned protein. So I focus on a dry good and a canned protein. Since we were at Costco, I just got the Wild Planet albacore tuna. They do have chicken, they do have beef, but Wild Planet has some good wild caught, sustainably pole and line caught, pure tuna and sea salt. I suggest getting some in water, but there is some that is preserved in oil. I've gotten both. I just was focusing more on a long-term scenario. So I love Wild Planet. I don't know about you all and I think it's a great value when you get it at Costco. Next up on my list is going to be the organic quinoa. I love quinoa. I've really been focusing on rice lately, but quinoa is great to have and that is going to go right into my jars with an oxygen absorber and then I will go from there. I will probably pull from it throughout the year, but it is nice to have in a long-term scenario. If I have any left over in the next two years, I will transfer it to mylar, although I don't think that is going to happen. Pasta, on the other hand, I feel like because it's so inexpensive, I'm constantly stocking up on so I do have a surplus of that in my prepper pantry. Next up, I have some Rayos or Rouse soups, and I don't know if I've told you all yet. I told the other channel, I'm really trying to keep some things on the shelf that are in glass, and I know Rouse was recently bought by Campbell's, so I think things will be changing, but there are other options out there that offer their products in glass. Jovial is a great brand. I get mine from Azure Standard. I have found that they have the best price when it comes to that, but a lot of these companies are starting to offer glass because of an aluminum shortage and I've talked about that in my food shortage videos. I've heard people call me a little crazy about that one but I've seen it in my shelves. I've seen the transition. I have seen a major price change because they have to go into glass but I think it will be worth it just because of the longevity and better ingredients. So I'm excited that they had these at Whole Foods for four dollars. I know a lot of us don't shop at Whole Foods but I promise you if you shop your Amazon Prime deal there are some good ones. So this was $4. This is pasta fagioli. And then I got vegetable minestrone, but you could get whatever you want. Their sauces were on sale as well. Next up, I got some organic smoothie melts and I like to focus on just basic foods, but I do have three kids under five and one is six months. So I found these freeze dried organic smoothie melts. There's no sugar in them. And I just think it's a great reminder to stock up if you have babies out there. I don't really stock up on baby food. I have my reasons for that. There are some brands out there that have some good ingredients in there, but uh, we don't really do purees. We're a baby-led weaning family, so that's part of it, but there are other other reasons I don't like a lot of the typical baby foods like Gerber and things like that. There is a time and a place for them. I understand that, but I have focused on picking one thing a week that the kids would love at a shelf stable. So I found these. I thought they were a great price and they have minimal ingredients. Next up on my list is going to be something that I focus on for our bug out bags. And these seeds of change, organic oops, quinoa and brown rice with garlic are great. And the whole pouch, I believe there's seven grams of protein. Let me see. Let me see. Nope. Eight grams of protein. So that's great. You could just put this with some tuna and then put some sauce on it and call yourself good. But I think these are great to have because they are already cooked. So you could find a microwave in the event of a bug out or you could just cook it over the fire. These are pretty light in weight in comparison to like a jar of soup or something like that and you get a lot of them for a great price there are of course so many different kinds of things out there but i like seeds of change i think it's pretty tasty and they're non-gmo organic so good one to have next up on my list i got some more wheat berries as you know i'm on this journey to go unenriched for most of our foods but it's very very hard so i find that grinding down my own wheat berries to make breads and 
things like that definitely changes the taste and texture but i know in the long run it will be better for us and i can use these to sprout later on if i needed to i think they're great to have on hand they last essentially indefinitely depending on what brand you get and you could put these in a bucket or in mylar which i'm going to put them in mylar so yay i'm very excited about this lineup i think we got some very unique items that i haven't stocked up on in a long time and i'm excited to give you some organization ideas i hope this was helpful let me know what you're stocking up on in the comments below i am nosy and i would love to know the sales in your area and i'm sure a lot of us could use some ideas when it comes to variation in our preparedness pantries as always stay adventurous stay creative and i will catch you on the next one do not forget to look at that pinned comment my zoom link is down there if you want to find out more about switch away usa definitely join that zoom i will be there i can't wait to see you all there and i'm going to catch you on the next one see everyone